So, so what about affordable housing? Uh, no, I just want to highlight that affordable housing is, is a major concern for, for many Malaysians. Yeah. Uh, I think especially young people coming on uh, to the workforce, uh, first job, or first, first house, I think that's a major concern on, on how, how they can afford a, a home on a 3,000 or 4,000 salary. Okay, I guess make a picture at the end as well. You want to, uh, this, this financial year, your GDP is 5 to 5 million ringgit, right? But to get to uh, the next level of size, you could have sales of about 800, 900 million ringgit, right? Um, in what ways can you grow the business in the affordable segment? Uh, in what ways? Well, it's just a volume. It's a volume game. Volume game. game. Okay. Yeah, volume game. Yeah. Uh, why we are confident? Because uh, the demographics of Malaysia allows it. Um, Malaysia's population is very, very young. Okay. Uh, below 15, 15 years old uh, is about 27% of our population. So over the next, I would say, 6 to 7 years, a lot of these people will come onto the workforce and they will require housing. What about in 10, 20 years' time, you know, uh, when it's with most developed countries around the world, Japan, um, even the UK, right? Uh, it's an aging population. Singapore is no different as well. Uh, how will the business model change then? Okay. We are a unique country. We are a developing nation with a high population growth rate. We have, our population growth rate is about 2.4%. So that's above replacement rate. Yeah. So that is what is very interesting for the property sector to watch now, over the next 10 years. So how does that affect your business model? Uh, I think we are prepared for that. So we want to supply to those young people who, who are coming on. Okay, so you don't see any change in your positioning for at least the next 20 years? No, not for the next 10, 20 years. Okay, cool. Okay.